there have been two continents that have dominated world cuisine, one being Europe, the other being Asia. While Asia, of course, has its spiciness in its flavors, Europe has had its subtleties in its techniques. Definitely. And today we have a mix of both in a delicious recipe that we've prepared for you. It's a mm. sesame crusted goat cheese with a strawberry balsamic reduction. Wow, Natasha, shall we get on it then? Right Let's here? start. Okay, I think you can make the strawberry balsamic reduction. Okay. While I slice up the tomatoes, okay, and get the goat cheese mixture ready. Mm. What do you say? Nice. Okay, so I'm going to slice up these tomatoes right here. Got these nice ripe tomatoes in front of me. What do you think about that? Great. All right. So this goat cheese dish is in fact a great thing to serve as an appetizer, even if you're with two people, if you're with four, if you're with ten. It's one of those things, you know, you can always keep upping the ante on your appetizers and what you can serve people, you know, eat it with bread or crackers or whatever the case may be. I just love goat cheese. Yeah, Nikhil just loves it. Okay, my dear. So how's that reduction going? It's good. I'll just wait. I need to cut up my strawberries. I have some strawberries here. And in uh, fact, strawberries go great with balsamic vinegar. So that's why we decided to pair them together. I'm just going to chop these finely. And we'll drizzle it over our goat cheese when we're finished. Okay, my dear. I'm done. I'm going to leave. Shall I chop up the strawberries for you real quick? Okay. That would be a great help, Nico. Thanks. I'm going to turn my heat on. You just want them chopped up, right, my dear? Yes. So, I mean, this is your creation, I have to say. I mean, uh, where, where, where is this influence coming from? Just, you know, a little bit of Europe, a little bit of Asia. Such strong cuisines, but often they go well together. Mm. So, I have some olive oil here. I'm just going to put a, coat the pan with that. So I have a quarter of an onion, finely chopped here. I'm just going to throw that in. Wow. My strawberries are done. Mm. Coming up for you, my dear. Thank you. So you got the strawberry. Got the strawberries. They smell so delightful. Now I'm going to add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. Fancy that. Balsamic. Balsamic and strawberry. Wow. Yum. What a pair. And I'm going to stir that around for about five minutes. Mm. How about some sugar, my dear? What do you Good think? idea to bring out that sweetness in the strawberries. I'll just yeah. add a nice little pinch of sugar. Yeah, perfect. And you know what? The sweetness of the strawberries then balanced with the tartness of that balsamic. Mm. Perfect. And our really goat perfect. cheese, it's going to add a perfect finish, if you ask me. Of course, she's going to be really salty. Mm. I don't know. You got to reduce that by almost 50%. You yeah. Want it nice and thick because that's going to be our sauce over the goat cheese. So we want to keep it at a really strong simmer, the balsamic. It'll reduce slowly, become a bit thicker, and then it'll be ready. So I'm going to get my tomatoes sorted out here. I've cut them into slices. So I'm going to come right across here and start making my plate. In fact, this is going to be our plate. So if you're going to make a little hors d'oeuvre, a mousse bouche, starter, whatever you want to call it. Yum. Now I'm going to put some sesame seed over here. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, white sesame seeds. White sesame seeds, thank you very much. I'm going to coat my goat cheese right there. It's sticky enough, so it's going to coat on both sides anyway. Look at that, perfect. Mm. Yeah. Now, Asha, on all sides, lovely. You can see that? Nice. Nice. So you got to leave that over here on the side. Right? Mmm. Yeah, you want to completely cover it with all your sesame seeds. Nicely. Beautiful. I'm going to take some nice big discs of tomato, mm. my dear. Place it on my plate. Like that. And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper. Little pepper in there. I'm going to put one more tomato in there. Yeah. How's that done? I think that's done, my dear. Yeah, this is done. So this is what the end result will look like. 